When I sit on the horse, I want to become one with the horse so that I know what he needs the day I need him the most. A master of the game, Steve Gerdas, multiple World Cup champion, one of the all-time greats in the sport. He just feels the horse so well, understands them, knows how they're thinking. If I had to choose, I'd rather have a life with horses than with people. Yeah, I always wanted to be a great horseman, like my father was. My father has always taught me to look after the horses, to, to really take care of them. What I wanted for my horse is uh, freedom, space and nature. Yeah, the place is absolutely not fancy. When you go into a yard, the first thing that people like to show you is a really fancy tack room and, you know, the box is shining and, you know, all these kind of things. But I don't believe that this is what the horse really value. I believe what they want is to have top quality straw, hay and top quality cares. I believe this is much more important than having a fancy box. We like to see horses in the field, of course, but I believe they love also to, to have the attention and when they go in the shows, they love to go in the shows, they go in the truck, they, they're fully motivated to go and once they compete, they're getting into another state of mind, you know, they, they put themselves under pressure and what seems to be impossible to do in the training seems very easy in the ring. I believe that in every loss you, you learn something, in every run you ride you learn something, in every big loss you learn the most. The battle is not over. We have got now Jaliska Solier and Steve Geda. Jaliska was something really special to, to me and uh, my team. Uh, everything was just about uh, love and happiness. Um, until the day we decided to retire from the sport, she was still uh, on top of her game. We were really hoping to have uh, a lot of beautiful falls from, from her. But she unfortunately, after just a few weeks, had an accident in the in the field. This has been a, a very tough, tough moment for us. And sorry, I don't like to speak about that. It's it's sad, you know. You you love those horses, and when you lose them, it's uh, it's sad. For sure, if she hadn't met me, um, I wouldn't be here today uh, where I am. I wouldn't have had all the success that, that I was able to, to have. And uh, I like to say that the most important person, or horse in this case, um, in my life. I've been very lucky uh, in my career to have a lot of Amazing horses, but not just amazing because they were successful, amazing because they've done so much for me as an athlete and as a, as a person. And uh, that's why I believe they teach me to be more patient, to be more listening to what they had to tell me. And uh, I think they didn't make me just a better rider, but also a, a better person. Yeah, the feeling after we won the Olympics was, uh, of course, amazing. I don't like to say I was dreaming of it. I more like to say I was aiming for, for it. But when it happens, it feels unreal. And I'm there with the gold medal around my neck. So this is something that uh, it's very hard to describe, but this is, I think, the best feeling that an athlete can get. Uh, actually, I 
get nervous um, before every show, <laughs> big or small competition or just training. I want to be nervous always because that means that I care about what I'm doing. Developing a connection with the horse is actually, it's actually my life. This is what I'm trying to do um, all day long. You sit on the horse for the first time and you try to, to create a connection with that horse. You obviously don't speak the same language, so you try to find a language which he will understand. And I like at the end to, to believe that we become like one. Living this life with horses, it has made me ready to be a good dad because I'm trying to treat my horses like they're my family. And when everybody says that it changed your life completely being a father, I had a feeling that I wasn't the father for the first time because before I had my child looking after my horses has been preparing me to be a better father. I'm really lucky that you know my wife rides as well, so we can also ride together and I spend all this time together with the horses, but also with, with the family and with my team, which is really close to me, which I like to call my second family. It's just long days, but an amazing, beautiful life. <laughs>